PSG boss without Luka Martins, Kadidiatu Diani, Marie Antoinette Katato, Katato, they're all missing. Giorgio's in behind, and Paris Saint Germain have taken the lead this time. No mistake from the captain at the second time of asking. Having missed a glorious opportunity a few moments ago, the deadlock is finally broken. And again, it was a simple ball over the top. This time, the flag stayed down, and Gayoro showing the composure to poke it past the onrushing keeper. And Paris Saint-Germain, for all their possession, Mascarino. Shari plays the one two. Does she get the return? Ashari across the face of goal. Oh, it's gone all the way in. I think it took a wicked deflection, but the home side have doubled their advantage a minute before half time. Saint Germain are heading for their first win in the Champions League this season. Ashari got a shot away. It took a Wicked deflection. In fact, it might go down as an own goal. Ramona Backman makes no mistake. Williams Moshir didn't even dive. And Paris Saint Germain are surely heading for all three points now. And the home side, surely now, home and hosed. Just wrong-footed the keeper, didn't she? williams Moshier was going one way. Couldn't transfer her body weight. Hamnawi. Former Leon Barcelona midfielder, linchpin in midfield for PSG is Baltimore. Running at the defence once again, twisting, turning, getting the shot away and scoring a brilliant goal. Well, she created it herself and she finished it herself. Look where she picked it up. Twisting, turning, everyone was expecting the cross. And instead of pulling it back, she drilled it in at the near post, catching Kayling williams moshir off guard. Sarah Bohadi has not had a save to make. Now, are they onside? The flag has stayed down. Lawrence across the face of goal. She can't miss. She doesn't miss. And Paris Saint-Germain have a fifth. Exploiting that space. And when Lawrence picked it up here, there was only one outcome. A simple tap in. Would be a big win for either team if they could. Drifting their way through here, through Mikolaeva. And Mikolaeva scores! Sam Bolton become the first Austrian team to score an away Champions League group stage goal. And may yet have victory as well. Drifting and dancing our way through and then finding the top corner. Now a second opportunity for her to take this corner. Millie Spikers ahead on it. Oh, and it goes in. And Ingall's got the last touch. And Chelsea take the lead. Composed, good touch by Millie Bright and really good awareness from Sophie Ingall just to step in front of the Real Madrid captain there and head it in. Little freeze there, looks like, you know, looking, it could be close to offside, but I don't think it was. Good reactions. How dominant Chelsea have been at home. Yeah, it's become a, a, a massive fortress here at Kings Meadow. Ball in from the right-hand side, oh, and it goes all the way in! Well, what a wonderful goal that is to give Chelsea their second of the game. Aaron Cuthbert with a ball in from the right you know, sort of sliced it across. 
Good touch off the net. Yeah, that's a cross, 100%. But, you know, if you're going to miss it across, that's the way to miss hit it. And it's, it's arrowed into the top corner and catches the keeper off guard. Bartoli. It's Giuliano's pass. Good ball, too. Certainly committed numbers forward here, and the shot fell brilliantly. Giacinti with their first significant attack. Roma take the lead, and what a finish that was. Right into the corner to beat Froms. Perfectly placed. Payo up against Linari, gets away from Linari. It's Payo! It's a great finish. That is top class centre forward play from the Polish international. And Wolfsburg are on terms in Italy. Top class, superb that from Eva Paio to get away from the attentions of Linari in the first instance. That's now 24 goals in 18 games for club and country. It's the composure, isn't it? It's the confidence. It's the clinical nature of the finish from Paio that is so impressive. Found initially by Brandt. Left the Pina Rolfer. It's a searching cross. And JC with the header. That is it. Set up by Serna Gorcevic. And inside two minutes of the restart, it's JC Ferreira who gives Barcelona the lead at camp now. Couldn't miss really. Just to nod it back across the goal, and JC at that point, she's not going to miss it. Nearly does. She nearly makes a little bit of a meal of it, comes off the post, but nonetheless, it's fantastically well worked from Barcelona. And this is probably the nightmare scenario for Bayern Munich. We're so early in this second half, and they'll have wanted again just for the first five or ten minutes to keep it. To City, she said, she listens to every single word I say. She says, her eyes are always on me. Soaking up the information. Here's Rolf. Bottom of on the edge of the box. Here she is! Squeezed it in. Lovely finish that. So dangerous. And again, it's Rolf on this left-hand side. Initially for the first goal, she cuts in and uses a right. This time she cuts it back with a left foot. Bonmati arriving at the perfect time. Then because of her run, she comes onto the ball. It's a, a fantastic finish. Yes, it's at the near post, but that's always going to be difficult for the keeper. She's just open to hips out. And forward here by Walsh. Gihara. JC. Looking to get away from Tainara. Support arriving. Pina. Has a go and scores majestically. The best goal of the night. That was special. Powered home by Pina. Better decision, but no, she absolutely wraps this into the top right hand corner. No keeper saving that. What a finish that is, and it looks better and better from every angle we see it from. She knows exactly what she's going to do. You can see she's got her head up, lets the ball come across her. First touches boot in here comes the corner it's a dangerous one and the heads go up and the ball has gone in and the goal has been given well it hasn't taken long less than four minutes on the clock and Leon lead and from close range Mala was there just two yards out and able to head into the bottom corner she was unchallenged poor defending really from the home side Horan can't get it under control. Well, that was a decent chance 
for Lyon to double their advantage. Malar feeding it through, Les Sommer across the face of goal, and that's going to be a simple tap in for Brun. And Lyon have doubled their advantage 10 minutes before half time. It was picked up here by Malar running at the uh, white shirts, causing problems. Les Sommer pulled it back, and it was. Simple in the end, two of them waiting for it. Malar couldn't get it back under control, and uh, Brun didn't need to. Leon lead by two. Malar knocks it down, and there is a really good chance for Brun, who gets her second of the night, and Leon's third. And surely the reigning champions, since that is game, set and match now for the visitors. Hopeful ball in, Mallard knocked it down. She did really well to time her run. She was clearly onside. Cayman's ball knocked down by Mallard into the path of Brun, who knocked it past the onrushing Friedley to wrap up all three points. And in the end, opted to go with Schmidt, who's uh, usually a right back at centre half and keep Jessica Wieck at full back. Here's Lacasse, Silver in the middle once again. Lacasse still going, still Lacasse, it could be a great goal for the Canadian. Well, she got it caught in her feet, but she's styled it out still. And Benfica's top scorer in European competition last season has opened the scoring again tonight. On the weekend, taking it only to 15. Berenstein. Sent through, all on a row, Berenstein scores! First goal in Europe this season for Lynette Berenstein, what a pass, what a run. And composure at the same time too. Sends this place wild. And we've seen the threat throughout the game of Juventus on the counter. Towards Mimi Moyken and Midemars there. And there is the response. Viviana Midemar is back and back in the goals. And it's 1-1 in Turin. And here she is from a set piece. And they've not been behind for long. Have Arsenal here. Really soft one from Juventus to concede.